If you've ever taken the time to sit through the full credits of a movie, you've noticed that it can take thousands of people to finish a film, which makes it that much funnier when a glaring mistake sneaks its way past all of them. Here are some of the weirdest, funniest, and all-around best movie mistakes that made the final cut. Star Wars Head Bonk Director George Lucas didn't have the biggest budget to work with when he made the original Star Wars, so he had to work with some shots and situations that were less than ideal. One legendary mistake happens when a bunch of stormtroopers burst into a Death Star control room. One trooper, unable to see well through his helmet, bumps his head on the door. Lucas may not have planned the shoot this way, but when putting together his special edition years later, he didn't take it out. Instead, he added a sound effect to acknowledge the goof. Takeover. Elsa's amazing hair. When you're a Disney cartoon, you don't have to obey the laws of physics. Just ask Elsa from Frozen. During her big musical number, she can flawlessly let down her hair. And she can even send her braid soaring straight through her arm without feeling a thing. Gotham City's Horrible Drivers Even before Bane took over Gotham in The Dark Knight Rises, the city had plenty of problems with criminals, but not just the superpowered ones. When Catwoman steals Bruce Wayne's car during one of the movie's lighter moments, it's amazing to see that literally no one on the street is obeying the obvious red light at this intersection. Holy traffic ticket, Batman. Captain Waterproof In Captain America The Winter Soldier, we see Cap diving out of a plane into the ocean so he can stage a sneak attack on a ship. And when he climbs out of the water, he's bone dry, shield and all. He probably learned that trick from the Submariner. Batman's Incredible Bat Punch it's easy to forget how much choreography is involved in a movie fight sequence, but there's a lot more to it than just pretending to throw kicks and punches. One wrong move can mean the difference between a scene that looks convincing and one that, well, looks like the rooftop fight from The Dark Knight Rises. There's a lot going on here, including a fateful turn in the relationship between Batman and Catwoman. So, most of us didn't notice that one of Bane's henchmen takes a dive during the fight, falling down without anyone even laying a hand on him. The Amazing Spider Lamp The best part of having multiple Spider-Man reboots is getting to see Spidey learning how to use his powers all over again, right? Just kidding! It's the most boring part of the story. But in 2002's Spider-Man, our young hero's training footage comes with a memorable blooper. He breaks a lamp while testing his webbing, but when Aunt May comes knocking at the door moments later, it's back on the shelf like nothing ever happened. One possible explanation? It was bitten by a radioactive lampshade. Another possible explanation? Lazy editors. Harry Potter and the Visible Cameraman In one scene from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, a tense battle of wands between Harry and the villainous Draco Malfoy includes an extra bit of magic, in the form of the muggle cameraman, who can be glimpsed filming after Harry knocks Draco down. Maybe he's there shooting an MTV reality series, 16 and Magic. The Mysterious Hedge Maze Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is a masterpiece that uses disorientation to create a growing feeling of unease in the viewer. As Shining experts have pointed out over the years, the movie's setting, the Remote Overlook Hotel, has a floor plan that's riddled with spatial impossibilities. The weirdness doesn't stop at the hotel walls, either. The movie's climax makes brilliant use of a creepy hedge maze, which is nowhere to be seen during the sweeping aerial shot of the Overlook that opens the movie. Unintentional goof or twisted Kubrickian genius, you decide. The Little Anticipator One of the greatest goofs in classic cinema occurs during this scene from the vintage Hitchcock thriller North by Northwest. Watch the background during Cary Grant's argument with Eva Marie Saint, specifically when Saint's character pulls a gun on Grant. A child actor who'd evidently gotten a case of nerves after reading the script or suffering through a few too many takes covers his ears well before his character is supposed to be aware of what's going on. Teen Wolf Flasher There's no shortage of cheesy silliness in the mid-80s Michael J. Fox cult comedy classic Teen Wolf. After all, it's about a suburban kid who suddenly realizes he's, you know, a teen werewolf. Not much subtlety in that title. But there's a background extra in the movie's final act who actually is pretty subtle and who may give you a quick laugh if you're watching closely. The moment in question occurs during the big celebration after Fox's character wins the big game, and a celebration erupts in the stands, evidently surprising one young woman in the crowd who can be seen cheering with her pants completely unzipped and unbuttoned. She manages to get them closed up later in the scene, but really, let's take a moment to recognize that a nameless extra managed to become more interesting than the werewolf who just won a high school basketball game. 
give that woman an Oscar. The Commando Porsche. There are so many questions in Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1980s action masterpiece Commando. Like, why is this big Austrian's name John Matrix? And how is Alyssa Milano his daughter? And more than anything, what's the deal with his magic yellow Porsche? We're talking, of course, about the part of the movie that sees Matrix chasing down the bad guy, Sully, trashing the Porsche in the process. The car seems destined for a few weeks in a body shop, until John gets back behind the wheel, at which point it appears miraculously damage free. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to tell us your favorite movie mistakes that should have made the list.